Okay, for 3D finishing we need a ball end milling cutter. So let's define this tool. From machine tab select define tool, select ball end, and as tool number enter 20, offset number also 20, length 50 and diameter 12. and fixed parameters, spindle speed 2400 and fixed fit 900 and fixed down fit also 900 and let's add simple holder length 60, diameter 40 ok and save this as ball end 12 ok and now let's select this tool ok and from the machine tab select 3D machining and here type select 3 axis and in strategy section select parallel ok Parallel, it is an easy to use strategy that in many cases can give quite good results with little time to prepare the machining. Click OK and in the general tab in the field XY stock to be left and Z stock to be left leave 0. We prepare finishing machining so we don't want the allowance to remain and safe rapid level set to 25 and thickness above surface 2 wrap it down to enter 5 and click OK. OK. Select the 3D model and accept the selection. First we will generate a toolpath with default parameters and now we will change parameters to improve this toolpath. First I hide a roughing machining and the first thing is that we have machining in one direction here. The tool will machine along x-axis, retract, go to the beginning and machine the next pass. I will show you toolpath rapids and you will see. We have machining in one direction, retract, back to the beginning and again and again and again. And here we have a lot of movements in the air. We could significantly shorten it if milling was in a both direction and to do this edit the operation. OK, and in the machining data tab, in the mill type, select optimized and click OK. OK, and now we have a machining in one direction. And it is definitely better, except that these paths strangely overlap the edges and to change it edit the operation again ok and in the advanced tab select ignore external edges click ok ok and now it looks better the toolpath is taking on a nice shape however the passes end at the edge and to extend it a bit edit the operation ok and in the leading out and link tab select specify moves between cuts and here in the ramp length field enter for example 10 millimeters and click ok 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 and it is definitely better. Okay, it is 
also worth thickening the passes. Make the step between each pass a smaller and to edit this edit the operation and in the machining data tab in this section in width of cut change the width to 0 0.2 and click OK 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 let's now run the solid simulation OK for solid simulation let's select also roughing operation and to see the final effect of the simulation faster we can click this button to turn off the tool visibility. We will not see how the tool works but we will get the final result much faster. And OK. The parallel strategy is one of the basic operations of free axis finishing and the scope of this application is very wide, which makes this operation a frequently used operation. In a short time we can prepare a finishing machining that will give us a really good surface finish. OK, save this file and we will now proceed to the machining on the side walls. Okay. 